welcome to my channel. So I start this look off by priming my eyes with the P. Louise Base in 0.5. I then go into the Colourpop She's a Rainbow palette and use the shade called Centerfold and I start to place that all over one eye. I then use the shade called Moonlight and do exactly the same on the other eye. Using an angled brush and the shade called Fine China, I start to make a winged eyeliner. I go into the Beauty Power Goddess of the Earth palette and use the shade called Scarlet and basically do the same thing on the other eye. I then get the red eyeshadow in the Beauty Power Popping Candy palette and I start to really blend out that winged eyeliner. I go back and forth from that bright red and that dark red while blending out this winged eyeliner because sometimes you do lose the pigment of the dark red so I just keep applying a blend in. Going back to the blue eye I then use that same dark blue eyeshadow and just blend the wing out. I then add a little bit of a black eyeshadow to make it dark and smoky like the other eye. I then go ahead and do my base makeup and then I get that dark blue eyeshadow again and start to bring it down onto my bottom lash line. I do leave a little bit of a gap between where I'm putting the shadow and my actual lash line just so it makes my eyes look bigger. I do exactly the same thing on the red side of the eye. I then fill in my brows like I normally would do and then I start to draw the face tattoos on my face. I then contour my face using the Too Faced Chocolate Matte Bronzer and then apply the NYX Cosmetics Powder Blush in the shade Pinched. For highlight on the red side of my face I use the Ofra Nikki Tutorials Highlighter in Cloud 9 and then on the blue side of my face I use the Ofra Nikki Tutorials Highlighter in Space Baby. Then with the black mirror face paint, I'll start to fill in the face tattoos. Now it's time to stick the gems on my eyebrows. I did this because in the Birds of Prey film, that's what Harley Quinn did. So the glue I used for this is the Makeup and Murder eyelash glue. And then I've just got some gems from Amazon and stuck them on my brow. I coat my lashes with some mascara and then apply the Colourpop Creme Gel Liner in Exit to my waterline. To create the running mascara effect, I used the Mayron Black Face Paint. I put quite a bit of water with it, so it was a little bit sheer, and a tiny, tiny brush and just made some smudgy marks underneath my eye. For my lips, I used the Urban Decay Liquid Lipstick in the shade Black Mouth first, and then I used the Urban Decay Liquid Lipstick in the center of my lips in the shade 714. For lashes, I used the Baby Doll Lashes in 730. And lastly, I put on this blonde wig and styled it to how her hair is in the new movie. To make the ends red and blue on each side, I just used my face paint. As this is a synthetic wig, I just washed it out after. I put on some accessories and we are done. This is the final Harley Quinn from Birds of Prey makeup look. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you like it, make sure to let me know and also hit that like button because it will really help me and my channel out. If you would like to see more from me, you can hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.